Hey, what up, decisive marketers? We have talked about quite a few funnel builder tools uh, in my channel so far. We talked about light funnels, woo funnels, right? And uh, there's popular tools such as Convertry, Click Funnels, Thrive Cart, um, and also uh, you know cut flows. You know, there's just so many of these uh, funnel tools out there. And today I'm going to be talking about yet another one, and it's called WP Funnels. I think WP Funnels is very interesting. It kind of feels like like funnels to me in many uh, cases, right? And uh, um, I think that it's so easy and so fast to put it up. Put put up a, a, a nice looking funnel, and uh, you know it's they've got a nice deal going. You know the you know it's it's very affordable right now for anyone who wants to use WordPress to create a uh, funnel for your business, right? So uh, before I dive into WP funnels, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So. Here we are in WP Funnels. Uh, firstly, I guess before we start is to talk a little bit about um, WP and SaaS based funnels. Is that you know WP funnels? Uh, you know WP based funnels are you know firstly it's self hosted. So uh, one thing about WP funnels is that they don't have much conditional rules. So you can't show dynamic. Uh, order bumps and uh, one click upsells unlike uh, woo funnels but uh, because so it's, it's actually much meant for people who sell through a linear funnel that means it's just uh, one product a uh, couple of upsells and those upsells are fixed right so the main product is fixed the 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 upsells are also fixed uh, up down sales are also fixed so it's a linear kind of funnel so it can be a a, a course uh, it can be a digital product it can be uh, let's say a, a, a product with just uh, a main product with uh, it can be a physical product and also sim uh, you know similar accessory items to the main product then I think that WP funnels would work for you but if you are a huge e-commerce store with multiple different categories and uh, let's say category A you want to show products you want to show order bumps or um, one click up sales that are within that category itself then I think that uh, you know uh, WP funnels wouldn't be good for that purpose right? This, that's something for you to note off the next thing is that with uh, WooCommerce, uh, uh, with WordPress base funnels is self-hosted, so I generally don't recommend uh, people to use many different uh, plugins on the site itself because it's gonna slow down your site, and you know your funnels are one of your biggest money makers. So I would you know install WP funnels on a separate WordPress instance in most cases. Um, unless you know you you it's not too important uh you know you don't you don't have a, a lot of plugins on the site itself um that's what i would recommend and lastly would be that uh you know with with sas base they they usually load a lot faster and lastly is also that with wp funnels uh you know uh, it's based on WooCommerce so there are some benefits and downsides to being based on WooCommerce is that if it's based on WooCommerce uh, it's not by default uh, WooCommerce doesn't have any subscription uh, products right it's not being enabled there's no uh, so there's no subscription products there's no payment plans as well so if you use uh, WP funnels if you want to use subscription uh, products you want to sell subscription products or payment plans through WP funnels you would then have to use the official WooCommerce uh, uh, plugin for subscriptions uh, there are some other third party plugins out there as well but they do they don't uh, they don't actually have some kind of integration that you know cancels someone's access for example to a course if 
you know the payment fails or or something along those lines so that's something to take note of uh, i know it's a little bit more complex what i was talking about but i i'm sure that those of you who are trying to set up a solution with uh you know f different funnel tools you might understand what i'm talking about right here so firstly let's jump into the settings page for wp funnel so uh it's this is the only funnel type which is sales uh, woocommerce and there will be two different uh, page builders you can use elementor or gutenberg all right gutenberg is the native uh you know block builder for wordpress okay so you can choose to use gutenberg but with gutenberg uh if you want to use the templates from um WP funnels you have to install Cubely right so Cubely uh, this is the the one right here Cubely okay this free plugin right from uh, this company called Tmium right here so this this free plugin right so you have to install uh, Cubely to work with uh, Gutenberg but of course if you use Elementor you just have to install Elementor right and then you can disable tracking so this analytics tracking would be for your Facebook pixel and maybe Google Tag Manager as well so next is you want to set up your permalinks so this is what I've chosen uh, next is uh, offer settings so you can choose to create a new child order so it's a new order that is being attached to the main order so whenever you have order bumps or upsells or downsells when someone purchase something uh, the upsell or the downsell uh, it will create a second order and attach it to the main order right but uh, if you want to just uh, add it to the main order which is by default this is the option it will show that the main product and the downsell or upsell is uh, within one single invoice itself and then you can add your Facebook pixel within here and Google Tag Manager right here okay so one thing about Facebook pixel or Google Tag Manager is that uh, if you want to enable this uh, you if you have any other scripts or, or tools that are used to install Facebook pixel on your WordPress website uh, you may want to enable it or disable it for certain pages because of the maybe the like the funnel pages itself because you may trigger some of these Facebook pixel events twice if you enable it on both right so uh, I know it's a little bit complex here but uh, let's say you have a, a, a plugin that enables Facebook pixel across your WordPress website and then you enable it in WP funnels again you may trigger the events twice right so that's not a good thing okay so with uh, so you may want to disable the other plugin for the WP funnel pages so I would personally recommend that you use something like uh, WP code box which is an awesome uh, WordPress plugin for uh, adding your any kind of tracking scripts right any JavaScripts right uh, I would highly recommend using WP code box or you can use a uh, header footer code manager pro as well which I have re both reviewed them in my channel all right you can look for it uh, in you can search for these videos in my channel and the next one is Google Tag Manager so uh, with WP Funnels it doesn't allow you to add uh, custom scripts just within the funnel pages itself right so you have uh, so you may want to make use of Google Tag Manager to do that uh, one more thing to take note of is that with um, WordPress uh, with if you have any header footer codes that is being implemented it will show uh, out on it will show up in the funnel pages as well so for example if you were to add a uh, pop-up uh, script into your Google Tag Manager and you also add it into your WordPress website it's gonna show up twice right so that's not a good thing as well so something to take note of uh, maybe you might want to defer everything to your uh, code manager tool right uh, if you were to use something like WP code box you wouldn't have to enable um, any of this at all and you get better targeting uh, or conditions for 
uh, showing the scripts okay so next thing while well, we have covered the uh, settings I know it's very technical and a little bit boring so let's go into the fun stuff right so it's very simple to add a new funnel there's a uh, seven right here five sorry four are free three are premium so that's not a very huge library at the moment but of course uh, we sort of can understand it as of now because it's a uh, you know brand new tool right here right so designing uh, you know more f uh, funnel uh, would take some time okay so all you need to do is pretty much uh, choose any one of this of course the pro version will only be available for the the ones who actually own the pro license uh, such as myself right here so uh, and all you need to do is just hit on import and it will show up so what I'm going to be doing is uh, I've already created one funnel right here so I'm going to click on edit so this is the uh, it's so one thing cool about uh, the WP funnels right is that they give you a funnel mode right here sorry not a funnel mode but a canvas mode right here so you can also turn on stats and you can see how many people actually visit your landing page how many people visit your upsell page your downsell page and so on right so you can turn on stats okay and uh, global checkout will be using the uh, WooCommerce default checkout page okay so something to take note of so uh, if, you, if you want you can click on plus step and you can add uh, any one of these uh, funnel pages okay individual funnel pages into the uh, funnel itself okay so next thing is you can also add conditions which we have right here I'm going to show that to you later and you can have uh, CRM integrations but the only uh, CRM integration is Fluent CRM right now so if you don't have Fluent CRM you're not able to use it use any of this CRM uh, with WP funnel so it's quite uh, new at the moment right so there's not much CRM integration any email marketing tools integration at the moment so this is the landing page uh, it's pretty straightforward right so you click on the three uh, dots right here this allows you to change the funnel page name and the URL slug right the funnel page uh, title and the URL slug and you can click on the uh, uh, I mean you can view the page right here by clicking on the eye icon and then the pencil icon will allow you to jump into the elementor so I'm actually using the elementor builder right now so we can actually jump into the elementor um, editor here and start designing the page okay so if you love elementor right, I think this is a good reason why you should uh, use something like WP funnels because it works on Elementor. If you use uh, a SaaS solution, they usually have their own page builder, so you gotta learn that all over again. But if you are avid user of Elementor, you can save a lot of time using WP funnels because you already know how to use it, right? So you can see right here, I do have my uh, Levy Desk widget right here. So it's actually uh, the the Levy Desk uh, script is actually added throughout the uh, funnel pages as well so this is not a good thing in my opinion because uh, you would then you know you would then be uh, you might then be slowing down your website by uh, your funnel pages by showing a bunch of uh, by loading certain scripts that is not needed at all uh, on those pages so something to take note of right so next uh, we've got a landing page covered so next uh, let's jump into the checkout page so you can click on the gear icon and you can add products right here just search for your products and you can add product right so let's say I want to put hoodie and I click this uh, product right here I can click on add and it will be added in here right so uh, so this will show up in the funnel page itself there's two options right here allow use of coupon and enable quantity selection so if you enable allow use of coupon so they can you know there will be a coupon field to get a discount or free shipping right there and 
quantity selection would then allow them to purchase multiple um, option uh, multiple quantity of the item right which is quite straightforward and then you got order bumps right here there are two styles one is this one one is this one uh, personally i think that it looks kind of nice but it should have maybe like this one have a gif version of the arrow so that it captures better attention and you can choose where to show the order bump um, likely you're going to have you go you're going to want to show it um, you know maybe before or after the payment options okay and then uh, you can choose the product that you want to upsell so just search for it right and then edit it and then the product image will show right here so one thing that i find that they should improve on is to fill in the product description for me right and then uh, i just got to change the highlight text and the checkbox label itself that saved me a lot more time they could pull in the short description right here instead right and then the discount uh, are you going to offer a discount or uh, so so if the product inherently has a sale uh, has a discount it will show up like this so the product is actually twenty dollars and then there's a sale price of eighteen dollars so it's going to show by default like this right uh, there is a replace first product checkbox right here so what happens is that if you purchase this product then the main product is no longer relevant something like that okay it's no longer uh, you know it's, it's being replaced right okay next is the percentage so I would say that uh, let's jump back a little bit so I would say that this would be like a upsell like an upgrade okay you'll be like an upgrade maybe you buy a burger and then you upsize it into a meal right so you replace the entire product itself okay next is percentage so percentage uh, you can choose to apply it to the regular price which is $20 or you can put the discount off the sale price which is $18 and they can put in the value which is in percentage or you can choose a flat amount discount right so that's pretty easy to understand next is your checkout fields uh, you got your billing fields right here um, anything that you don't need you might want to check that off because um, it's going to uh, make it easier for your customers to fill up all this information and pay you money faster right so for example company name maybe you don't want that uh, for last name maybe you don't want that maybe you want to change the name to first name to just name something like that that's what I would do to uh, you know simplify it right okay so we can turn that off as well okay right and then maybe even delete delete sorry this is deleting the product okay that's not what I want to do right um, I guess they have a spelling error right here I guess it should be delete this field right not delete the product okay so and then if it's a digital product you might want to even turn off everything on the shipping field so you don't have any shipping fields at all because you can just use the building field as the shipping address for a digital product right there's no need to ask for uh, shipping address at all next is your you know additional fields if you don't need them you can turn off the uh, order comments right so that's all for the checkout page and this is kind of how it looks like so this is how it looks like okay I think that it looks kind of nice um, but the header is a little big I would get to the point and just make people fill up the form and make payment right um, but otherwise the design is kind of nice I would maybe cut out some of the the uh, you know the height here in the header right and then the next is the upsells right so upsells uh, and the downsell pages are the same you pretty much just add the upsell product in here and uh, you know the discount type that's pretty much it next is the 
Uh, also, the I I would say that the upsell page, uh, the template design is kind of nice as well. Uh, let's have it. Okay, so this is kind of how it looks like. So you can see my widget, uh, right here. Okay, right. So the Labidas widget is right here. So that could be good, or that could be a good thing or a bad thing, right? Okay, so once you click on it, right, it's being uh you know move into the conditions action right here so you have four conditions right here so order bump uh you know whether you whether you took up the order bump or whether you sold a certain amount whether you upsell uh, whether they took the upsell or not whether they took the downsell or not so that's the only conditions that you have to split the traffic into two different uh, whether the uh, thank you page or the downsell page right here so the downsell page is pretty much the same thing as the upsell next is your thank you page so the thank you page you can choose uh, what kind of order details you want to show right the, the, the shipping detail the billing detail the order detail the order overview right so you can check that up and then the last thing is uh, let's take a look at the checkout page right here which is uh, I think it's kind of nice right they even put some of these uh, social media buttons in here for you already so it's very simplified uh, thank you pitch and uh, I guess that's all I have to share about uh, WP funnels because I don't think there's anything else to cover right here uh, overall I think that WP funnels is is a great option um, of course more integration should come more templates should come uh, but it definitely doesn't replace WooFunnels for me if you are running a serious e-commerce store because without the dynamic kind of upsells or order bumps you are not recommending the right products to your customers right that, that's what I would uh, say uh, otherwise uh it's it's much better for like if you're selling a linear product linear funnel uh i think wp funnels is great for that in fact i kind of get the feel that it's, it's kind of like like funnels it's it's easy to use it's fast simple to put up and you're ready to go very very quickly uh, and that's what WP funnels is for uh, but of course take note of some of the downsides of using WP funnels as well uh, which is you know it's being WordPress hosted so you got to make sure that uh, it's you know there's no critical errors uh, or slow loading time uh, stuff like that okay so got to make sure that the your hosting performance is up there Alright, and that's all I have to share about WP Funnels. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about WP Funnels in the comments below. And lastly, if you know anyone who could benefit from a WordPress-based funnel too, right, be sure to share this video with them. And I'll see you in my next video.